New tonight, a heartwarming story about strangers helping a stranger and not just helping him, but actually changing his life. It is a story you will only see on 11 Alive. Elwin Lopez is here and she tells us about the links that two people went to help a homeless disabled veteran. Yeah, Jeff, it's incredible. David McDonough was driving to work Saturday morning, about to turn into the parking lot when he spotted two men. They were pushing a man in his wheelchair up the hill. He rolled down the window to ask them what they were doing. David helped him into his car, and it was that one move that turned Lee's life around. It would have been great to give him a ride up the hill, but the, but the idea that we've got, you know, potentially got him set for the rest of his life is unbelievable. It was a chance encounter for David McDonough and 70 year old Lee Sailors, a homeless veteran who needed help to get his benefits. He's been really frustrated for many years about the process, feeling like he's alone and never got the gratitude that he deserved for his service in the Vietnam War. While the resources were there, the Vietnam War veteran had no roof over his head, much less a computer or a car to get the help he needed. It's a challenging process and it's difficult for people who are in a compromised situation to even know where to go and be able to follow through on it. That's where David and his friend Deborah McGarry jumped in and put him up in a motel. It was supposed to be a couple of days until Monday when a shelter could take him in, but David says finding a place to accommodate Lee's mobility needs was a challenge. Based on the mobility, based on the need in Cobb County, based on the demand for the services that are available, you know, it was just very difficult to get something short term. And long term, Deborah says, also proved to be difficult. We have driven all over Atlanta, in and out with a wheelchair, singing songs in the car, classic rock, and uh, just having a blast. But at the same time, it's been really stressful to figure out what our next move would be. They turned to their community and others on social media to help with the cost, and dozens showed up. You know, you look at it, and it's just like, hey, yeah. There's another 50 bucks. Hey, there's another 75 bucks. Hey, we got you till Monday. Showing the kindness Lee wishes everyone could feel. Smile. Act like you're kind. I mean, even if you're not, act like you are anyway. Governor Kemp's office and Congressman Barry Loudermilk got involved in Lee's case. Deborah says that's what helped expedite the application process to get Lee into the Georgia War Veterans Home in Milledgeville. He'll be going there on Monday. Deborah and David, David say they're going to get him a fishing rod for the lake that they have there. <laughs> All right, that sounds great. Ellen, thank you. Terrific story.